Today, two more deaths in New York State that health officials are linking to vaping, one of them local, Ontario County. This comes as the CDC is changing its warning about vaping. Christian Garzon joining us now live in Webster. Christian, today's developments get to the heart of the vaping debate that's out there right now. Well, Adam, the debate comes down to this question. Is all vaping dangerous or just a certain type of vaping? Those behind end vape here say the news today should not be taken as evidence that vaping can lead to this type of illness. So it's, it's really sad to see for sure. Ken Gregory runs over a dozen vape shops across the region. He says today's deaths are a tragedy, but the language from Governor Cuomo calling them vaping related, he says he feels it's too vague. And they know what the problem is. His own health department has identified that problem. Gregory says every state and federal study conducted has turned up the same verdict. Every single one contained a black market vitamin E acetate THC product. Meanwhile, the Center for Disease Control stepped back back from their vaping warning today. Now it's not a broad recommendation for everyone to avoid vaping. Rather, it's isolated to pregnant women, youths, and non-tobacco users. But Mary Beer, the Ontario County Public Health Director, reacting to today's deaths, still has general concerns. You can't be putting anything in your lungs that's not going to have some effect long term. Uh, unfortunately, now we're seeing the repercussions much earlier than we expected. And the pressure from Albany is still there. Gregory says even with the smoking age now at 21, heavy taxes and fines, Cuomo wants to ban all e-cigarette flavors. Chad Lucas has been vaping for 10 years. He feels any further restrictions will hurt businesses and get people back on worse habits like cigarettes. No, but I don't think that the answer is to take something off the shelf that, that um, law-abiding adults want. Now, I should point out that Governor Cuomo's language uh, was directly linked to the state health department using the term vaping-related deaths. From Webster, Christian Garzon, News 8, Adam, right back to you in the studio. Christian, we thank you.